Hello and welcome to our new series of the videos on how to create photo gallery with PHP, MySQL, ImageMagick and jQuery. We will be learning how to create our database first of all, then we're going to be learning how to add new categories to our database, how to validate our form, how to add sticky form fields, how to uh, later on how to remove the categories, how to edit them as well and so on. Once we've got everything done with the categories, we're going to have a look at adding images. As you can see here in this table underneath, you can see that this specific category, Basque Country, has seven images. Dublin one has just five. If we go to Dublin, you can see these images being displayed here. Here's when we're using jQuery as well for displaying them. So you've got the thumbnail preview. If you click on a thumbnail, it comes up with a light box. We go to the next image, next, and so on. Uh, this list also has two other things. First of all, you can change the order of the images. So let's say I want this to be second one, this to this first image. Hit enter, and the order has been updated. If you want to remove any of the images, simply click on the R letter or check this checkbox, click on update, and the image is removed from the database and physically from the server. If you would like to add the image, give it a caption, let's say Dublin 2009. Let's browse for the image. If we go to the desktop, assets, images, there we've got an image, click on open, upload, and the image has been successfully added. Straight away, as you can see, our order number has been as, uh, assigned to the image, which is larger by one from the previous one. If we click on the image, we can also see the enlargement. Images aut are automatically cropped and resized using image magic, which we're going to be learning uh, on how to use as well. Um, so that's basically everything in the first uh, few sections. Then we're going to be looking at our content management system uh, build previously. And we also will be adding the same feature uh, to our uh, to, to this system. So on the front end, you're going to have a new button called Gallery, uh, which will display the list of different categories. If we go to any specific category, you click on the image, you will also see the, uh, the preview of it, depending on whether it's horizontal or vertical, the viewport will change uh, accordingly. Uh, obviously, in uh, in a control panel, you will also have this section added as a gallery, exactly same way. So categories with the validation, you can create new categories here. If you go to to the uh, to the images section of the specific category, you've got the same way of dealing with the images. So that's how it's going to be working. One thing worth to mention here is that we will be making quite significant changes to our content management system structure. We will go away from the Dreamweaver's templates and we use different methods to do the, the entire structure. So all of the pages which we've done so far will be uh, reconstructed. So now that we know what we're going to be building, let's move to the next video when we are going to start uh, organizing our assets.